Well, we've shown you at 5 and 6 the line of people outside the calling hours for Ron Russo. The line's shorter now. We've heard from his fellow workers of his hard work and kind heart. Russo was a Youngstown Fire Department battalion chief who died in a crash last Friday between his motorcycle and a minivan. Tonight, we're learning new information about that accident. Troopers say the driver of the van may have been distracted at the time. As First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, one local woman says she's not surprised. It's something that still brings Tina Janssen's to tears, knowing another family is now going through what hers did more than seven years ago when her father was struck and killed by a distracted driver. We continue to do this behavior even though we know that it's not a good behavior. And the reality is we're not only affecting ourselves, we're affecting other people. The latest victim of that may turn out to be Youngstown Fire Department Battalion Chief Ron Russo, who died last Friday. State troopers in Ashtabula County tell me a minivan pulled into the path of Russo's motorcycle, saying the driver had not been paying attention. Authorities can't say if the woman in the minivan had been texting, but Russo's family members are telling us she was doing something with her cell phone at the time. It's looking for the music. It's looking at your Facebook. It's, I hate to admit it, it's even looking at the Google map sometimes that's on your phone. Five years ago, Tina was in Columbus as a measure banning texting and driving was signed. It made the practice a secondary offense, meaning police had to catch you doing something else before they could give you a ticket. The fact of the matter is that when Governor Kasich signed the bill into law, he said this is a good starting point. We haven't done anything since then. While state troopers tell us charges are expected in the Russo crash, Tina believes until Ohio joins other states that have passed totally hands-free legislation, there will be more distracted driving accidents and more lives lost. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.